Hello, hello. I have here Miss Mary Poppins from the Disney collection. Let's get that. Now this, if you know Mary Poppins, this is the outfit she gets hired in and comes in on the, uh, in with the storm and with the wind. I was kind of hoping they had the, uh, they would have the one from the painting, that white outfit that she wore. That would have been a neat alt. Uh, neat variant for them to produce but as a fan of Mary Poppins and Dick Van Dyke I don't believe there is a Burt pop yet it would be nice to see a Burt pop a chimney sweep but as a fan of Mary Poppins and the music and all that stuff this is a really nice pop Oh, the paint job is really good. Nice with the molding. Really solid with the hairline here. In the front and on the hat with the flowers, it's pretty solid. As you can see. So, I don't know. It's really good. I, even with the glove and everything, there's not really much um, paint all over the place. There's just a little thing right here on the gloves that didn't line up. And that's it. I mean, the detailing on the parrot isn't too terrific, but it's it's there. Like, I can't even really focus on it because the detailing isn't really that good. There's not much to focus on. Just kind of a gray splatter with a little black dot for the... And it looks like the... If I can get that... The beak didn't even really get much. It didn't get paint on it, huh? Because it was definitely a fully black beak that it had. And it didn't get anything on there. Interesting. Oh, there you can see it. But other than that, I'm not going to be too picky on Miss Mary. Looks like they had a little thing for the mold here where the umbrella goes. There's a little slot in there to keep it steady. Which makes sense to keep her upright, because she does lean a little bit on the umbrellas. Well, anyway, that's the Mary Poppins Funko Pop. Another nice addition to the collection. And I will see you guys later.